Potato never was. Okay, guys. Hi. I now have advanced upper body Hi, tracking everybody. now. For the cost of three ninety nine. There it is. It's there. You guys gotta refresh again. Yeah. Let's uh, say. Make sure you refresh. I refreshed it like three times. Fair enough. Anyway, guys, we're gonna die. Yeah. Hopefully. They're completely fine. No. Why no. am I stretched in the stream? That is weird. Remember, we're sacrificing the duck first. Why? Nani. No, we usually not. sacrifice the other bird, so I'm being nice to be red. Oh, well. Sorry, so, sorry, Moon. We were supposed <laughs> to sacrifice B Rad, but guess they changed it. Yeah. Why, why are you saying sorry to Moon about sacrifice? Because Moon was down to help me sacrifice B Rad. <laughs> it was a plan. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. I can't, I can't remember yes. what the specificness was there, but there was a plan. Anyway, messing with B Rad aside, hi everyone. Uh, welcome to my campaign, The Good, The Bad, and The Downright Ugly. Um, also, you should probably explain what happened last session. Uh, I'm getting there, Aiden. On live. Aiden, I'm getting there. <laughs> Give me a minute, bro. <laughs> so, uh, just because we're I almost ten episodes this. in, everyone want to do a brief introduction of yourself again? Sure, I'll go first. Okay. Hi, everybody. My name is Aiden, or Ambitious Aiden, in the description. Uh, I play Robin, the half elf bard uh, sorcerer. Beard. Beard. Introduction. Uh, <laughs> my name's Beard. I play Arabeth. I'm part warlock and cleric. Galen. Oh, wait, fuck. I don't have D&D &D Beyond up. Hold on. Galen, it's on you, bro. Oh. <laughs> You're yeah, next, you're anyway. Good. Hi, I'm, my name's Galen, also formerly known as the General Mingle Ice Corps, now known as the Turtle Sage. Um, he leveled up. Leveled oh, up. I leveled up. He leveled, <laughs> leveled up from a flying baby. scorpion bat to a turtle. <laughs> fabulous, baby, fabulous. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I played uh, Jartrick, the druid uh, warforged. <laughs> very, very odd character, trust me. <laughs> He's lost his uh, friendly pet Barnabas. Oh, don't worry. What? Barnabas will be reappearing in this episode. Don't worry. That's oh. the good news for everyone. Spoilers, Is dude. Really? Is it really? Spoilers. Is it really spoilers, spoilers or am I swerving y'all by not having him appear? Who knows? <laughs> Either way, Gil will be mad. Anyway, Nissa. Um, what about our volumes? What? They sound low. Uh, yeah, Bunny singing it. There you low. go, Bunny. I increase. I had to lower them on one of my streams, not because of them, right. but because of the background noise that I had. The music. Interesting. I was okay. playing music, so yeah, it was a bit loud there. But yeah. Anyway, go ahead, duck. Fuck is this supposed to mean? Okay. Uh, distractions aside. Hi, I'm Nissa. I play Wisteria, the Kitsune Illusion Wizard, bit of a trickster, and uh, yeah, it's fun. It's been fun so far. Let's see how this goes. Amanda. Me? Yep. Alright, well, I'm Amanda, and I play Frilfer, the Leonin fighter. Did I say really Amanda? Oh, Sorry, that's it. Last but not least, the shortest one of the group. Uh, hello yeah. there. Uh, I'm Moonbeam or Mooney, uh, and I am. My character's name is Iliot. She's a leprechaun thief. Um, she was Irish and also Scottish, and then I just gave up on both of those. So um, now she's just American, uh, like all good leprechauns are. <laughs> yes, Moon is is uh, is named after my uh, my attack from Jartrick. Yes, I am named after that attack. Uh huh. Yeah, that's exactly mm -hmm. correct. To be fair, the attack so... existed before your username, as far as my knowledge. Is. <laughs> it's a really right, old. Think... It's a really old attack. So yeah, yeah. it's a really old attack. Yeah. Um... yeah. I think with that revelation, now I can only imagine Jartrick just firing a big Megan just down on the. <laughs> <laughs> that 
That's how I've really? always pictured it. Just yeah. throwing moon. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah I, just throw it. I, introduced, I introduced myself as Amanda because that's the name he has on my screen. Yeah. But, it's because oh, that's yeah. what we're all used right. to calling I do go you. by August. August. I do by go. I do go by August on everything else besides here. But yeah, pretty much. It's because you, now, you have Amanda in your name on Discord. What else are we supposed to call you? Uh, frog. That's We're because when I frog. first changed it to I'm August, August, you guys got confused. I'm a frog. We really did. I want you to know. Yeah. Once we know someone by like one name, as soon as they swap it, we get completely fucked up. That's why I keep calling you Amanda. <laughs> like like Galen's first call name, Brian King. That's yeah. that's why I'm yeah. okay with you guys doing it. And every on all my other discords, I'm August. So, so yeah. what's funny is the same thing happened with my theater teacher. Her name was Winter Miss Winter, and she got married like the second year I I was in, it, and everyone still called her Winter Fine. It's like, because you guys were here before then. <laughs> well, also, I mean, this is the first person that it's happened with. Uh, wasn't it like Mama Shark was their original name and then they changed it and changed it again or something like that? And it threw all of us off. Yeah, it threw I actually everybody off. I haven't seen them in a bit, but yeah. Yeah, I, I know who you're talking yeah. about. I haven't seen them in a long time, though. Hi. Uh, Hello. Duck. Hi. Duck, Hi. let's not die. I, I, it, everything got fucked up because I clicked something. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. Anyway, what the Can hell are we doing? Can we get an F in chat? Well, hold on. Let me. Nissa, get your shit fixed first. <laughs> My shit Nessa. is fixed. We're good. No, Nissa, you have to your turn on your camera. Video. Yeah, oh, yeah, the fuck. video. She was <laughs> like. <laughs> I forgot that was not on. There we Lovely. go. Okay. Anyway, oh, well, yes. the bees are so... very best. This is my actual face, by the way. Last week, we had a session that y'all didn't get to see because it was really only one fight. There wasn't a lot to it. Uh, it was a the bit most... of an Easter special. Um, it was meant for Easter. Uh, we can blame a person or two in this call for that not happening. Shit sucks. <laughs> um, but it's fine. We made up for it. I had it happen last week so that they still got some nice rewards. And also, to be partially nice. every, uh, also partially because JJ, Mooney, and BI were distracted by WrestleMania. Yeah. So was you. Well, that's the so reason. No, 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 no. Well, the reason we didn't originally out. have an Easter S episode was B. No, Easter didn't. Ha no, Easter didn't happen because I was Urban. at a family event that was supposed to be scheduled at two o'clock. Was then rescheduled at four o'clock, oh, and then we didn't eat until almost six o'clock. Family events. I don't trust family events. <laughs> mm -hmm. But we didn't. We didn't yeah. eat until almost six o'clock. You guys, it was ridiculous. But that's why I always show up late because I know it's never going to be on time. So, Anyways. that happened. So then, as I said, we did it last week. Uh, three people, if I recall correctly, got spell uh, spell scrolls to spells I gave you, quote unquote, gave you. Uh, I will actually have to create Mysteria, those. Arabith, and Frilfer. Yeah, I will have to create yeah, those later because creating a spell, for those who don't know in D&D Beyond, is a bitch. Well, so, Tidal Wave already exists, so. Well, Tidal Wave, I gotta yeah, change yeah, the you name have to up. Redo to, it. Probably yeah. gonna change it to Tsunami, but yeah, it's fine. All right. Um, that aside, because uh, these spell scrolls are gonna be completely new ones, not ones like custom made ones. Yeah, these are all custom know. spells. Where the fuck is that fight? I guess I it didn't know. save. Sorry, JJ also, created uh, a while fight. JJ's fine. Save so. Oh yeah. It's not. Also, while JJ's second. finding his fight, uh. I'll explain the other rewards. So, Jarchik also got an ancient map. Um, my character Robin got a stone flute, which it's basically just a normal flute just made of stone. Um, which is actually kind of funny because I have the pan flute, which, if you guys don't know, it's like a, a row of like multiple flutes, but just like uh, in various sizes. And then Iliad got a, I forget how to pronounce it, I think it's a boulette, boulette dragon egg. The name is Pipsqueak. Squeak, what a cutie. It will end up not being a Pipsqueak in the end. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. That is true. Oops, I'm sorry, I spoiled something. 
So, anyway, with that happening... Well, one more thing happened. Dark Trick designed and basically made him el- made gave himself night vision. Yes, he created oh, yeah. night vision goggles for himself, pretty much. And then he's just, like, actually, like, welded onto his face. <laughs> yeah, so now yeah. he basically looks like how Robin is with the Eye of the Eagle glasses. So, with that, we left off with him waking up out of this dream quote unquote with these items in their hand but Moody you wake up or Iliad wakes up snuggled next to a bunny dragon hey how's it going it's hatched overnight it's so cute I, I want to call up my friends to come see my new my new dragon you gotta go wake them up yeah you guys wake up everyone perception rolls disadvantage go I guess the mine are normal then did you say we already woke up? So why would you Oh yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I was like, yeah, we're awake. What the fuck? I would say I keep forget. I literally am forgetting, guys. Uh, JJ worked today. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. Anyway, so anyway, you guys now see that she has this bunny dragon. Dark creature size. Um, oh, yeah, she is not gonna be happy. Much. You watch this. Gonna it. Be a, uh, this will be a very interesting uh, encounter when this thing hatches. You just It's already hatched. Yeah, it already hatched overnight. It's okay, it's well in my defense it said dragon it said dragon egg, so Well, it just hatched. I woke up next to it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, but oh, all wow. you hear is it say, Mama. Hey, oh, dear Lord. <laughs> Hello, my baby. Wisteria's oh, heart proceeds to melt. <laughs> I love you. What? So it did. <laughs> what does it feel? So happy. As Robin is seeing this, uh, he just imagine he just imagines hearing this from like a little green dinosaur from his world saying that to his male mother. If anyone doesn't get that reference, I feel sorry for you. Uh, yeah. So. Robin has his stone flute, and Jartrick, you have that map. Jartrick goes into the library, <laughs> taking his map with him. Map, map, map. Okay. What are you doing in the library? He's cross-referencing things. Mm-hmm. You find that... Also got... i keep going. You find that back in the country where you originally came from, in that desert area, there's the map that you found shows what looks to be some type of temple or shrine that's supposed to be there. But you can tell that this map is very, very old. Older than you. Also for context, guys, in case I sound bad during dialogue, my throat's been kind of shot for a while. Yeah. yeah. It's okay, though. So... That's what you learn, Charger. Robin, what are you going to do with the flute? I was going to say, as uh, Jartrick's walking off to the library, Robin's going to try and tune it and try and see if he can get the flute to work correctly. There's no tuning. This is more like the, uh, when I say flute, it's more of the, uh, what are they called, recorders that you get, like the plastic ones at a store. Oh, no, oh, yeah, I just right. had flashbacks yeah. to fifth grade. <laughs> I know, yeah, right? So he, tries to, he, yeah. he, so he tries to give it a little whirl. You find that it plays extremely well, almost like uh, how uh, the wind blowing through SpongeBob plays. Almost like it plays really well. Also, to the other fact, flutes don't normally need to be tuned. Yeah, yeah. I, was say, I know. I was, that's not that's not I'm something that happens with flutes. Friends. I'm tired today, okay? Yeah, I, don't I know didn't think so, but I'm like, I'm not a big music person. I could be wrong, so that's why I didn't open my mouth. <laughs> so. What I meant more so by tuning was like trying to just like figure out how it works. That's Try to see how it sounds with each note covered or each hole covered. It sounds pretty decent. It doesn't sound too much different from a normal one. You just notice that it's obviously heavier. And the notes do seem to be a bit lower and vibrate more through it. 
I've never had to deal with something like this before. Very intriguing. And as you're playing, in your mind, a particular tune just floods into your head as you start playing. Oh no, he's gonna Rick Roll him. Oh my god. Nah. What? Not not that kind of flute, Amanda. That's my that's the pan flute that Robin Ari has. But you start playing some song that you have no idea, but you play it the full way through all four minutes of it. Four minutes. Four minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, as crap. as there... soon as it ends, everyone's looking at you like you're really good at the flute, but like, the fuck did that come from? Why do you and... look so amazed, Robin? And Robin looks, uh, and Robin, while looking a bit shocked, looks back at the others with like a similar reaction. Like, I have no idea how that happened. I, I was able to memorize a song I've never heard of before. Oh, it must be magical then. Hopefully, it's not a demon possessing you. Definitely. I would hope not. And at the time Definitely. you say that, you watch as the flesh lightsaber comes out of Robin's bag. What? What am I? Chop liver the, to you, you is all you hear. You just you just see the saber part of it. You don't even see the flesh part. Just the saber pops yep. out of his bag. <laughs> Archer comes back out. Oh, are we interrupting the couple? <laughs> <laughs> my, my date's not even here. What? You and dumbass. That, I didn't know. Know. You dumbass. And about that Robert time... I'm very confused. It's just like, that doesn't make any sense. And about that time, you Do guys I hear... Just his head. About, about this time, you guys hear... Downstairs. Hear what? It didn't come through. Ah, son of a... Yeah, it did not come through at all. You guys oh, hear a knock downstairs. at the door. My mic... I guess my mic sensitivity is not low enough to hear the knock. Strange. Bird, go oh. answer the door. No, I'll take care of it. And not you. Robin walks Your through. lightsaber's sticking out. We don't we want to make a good impression. Oh, he goes back. No, no, no. He goes back after he makes say, the comment. He, yeah. he could very likely like put it away. That sounded worse in my head than normal. Anyway, <laughs> um, Robin and JJ knows exactly why. Um, anyway, Robin uh, uh, makes sure makes sure to turn off the saber, puts it back in his bag, and walks down to answer the door. Hello uh, there. And you watch as a girl just rushes in and hugs you. Archie looks. Should I roll to see if I stay up on my feet? Uh, nah. She, she's not that strong. Oh, okay. You made it sound like she was for a second. No, she's fast. She's not strong. She's fast, but not strong. Okay. You see Robin, like, after the initial impact, she's like, Oh, uh, who are you? What is the little girl doing in here? Rilfer has lost interest. Was Star Trek the turns back to, to Iliad. Iliad's right here. There's no other little girl. <laughs> this one, just bears. The one that just tackle hugged Robin. He didn't say she was little. Just a girl. I heard girl, yeah. and my mind defaulted to a fucking now, child. I do. I I do have to ask real quick. Did I already say that she was with y'all? And the other one, I feel like I did, but don't hold me a hundred percent. With us? Was no. There? I I remember the asking other one. You. What was she like? Did she appear before this? No. No. Okay. I didn't the think last so. Se- the no. last few sessions, the last few sessions, it was focused on sorrow. It was explained that my date was coming soon, and I remember you said last week that uh, yeah. she would be showing up this session. Yeah. Okay. I, I just want to double check. She'd be double-check. making her debut. I'm the one who got matched with you through the dating service. Oh Lord. Uh, and since that has been a minute since we've done that, refresh her on the name. Her name is Takara. But she'll introduce herself. Takara, anyway. okay. Okay. And he Takara. said, and Robin, uh, slowly, the confusion slowly fading away. Oh, right, it is you. Well, it's nice to see you. And you obviously know my name, Robin. 
and he po then points over to the rest of his crew. And these are the group of delinquents I'm with. Hey, uh, excuse I'm me, not that. Delinquents. She goes over. Oh my god, someone that's shorter than me. She, like, tosses Iliad up in the air like a kid. <laughs> like a baby. <laughs> Just, <laughs> yee! <laughs> Can Can't you put her leprechaun down, please? <laughs> okay. Careful, she'll steal your wallet, says he's yeah. going I, I her. Put her down. And I, I would like to have already stolen from her to teach her a lesson. You can try. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to So slay the hand while she's roll in the slay the hand. <laughs> yeah, I roll perception to see if I notice her doing this. That nope. doesn't matter. It's an awful rule. So. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, no offense, Moon. Anything short of a nat 20 was going to fail. So. Yeah, that was an awful rule anyway, so it doesn't matter. So you watch as she goes to try, and as she does, she just grabs some random device on uh, Takara's belt. <laughs> Moon, do me a favor. Roll me a straight d20 real quick. Good oh, luck. Oh, Don't uh -oh. die. At least it's not Nissa. What? <laughs> what? Nissa, you don't Joking. have the best of luck rolling straight nat 20s anyway. Hi, Space Ghost. Oh, my God. Hi, Space uh, Ghost. Straight. Hold on. She doesn't have, have luck to... rolling straight. Let me remove some notes. Oh, my God. That's why. <laughs> or being straight in general. Yeah, true. Nat 20. Oh, perfect. <laughs> it's a nat 20. So you watch as she grabs the device. And then you watch as she gets teleported into the ceiling. So like half of her sticking out on one side and there's obviously a hole and she's stuck through the ceiling now. <laughs> nat 20? What did you do? Why yes. Did you, just you don't something? take any damage. The, the, basically this is determined are you taking damage from what's about to happen? Trick just looks up. Well, at least it's not a dryer and walks away. Kick it, this, my uh, uh, I would say, as Robin oh, just sees her lower in. half, it just says, not. Oh my god. As Robin <laughs> sees, I know what he's talking about. <laughs> I anyway, see she as Robin my sees the lower voice. half. Well, we want you like to steal. Yeah, as Robin's just seeing the lower half, we're just like kicking around. It's like, uh, he's just like. Honestly, not the weirdest thing I've probably seen this week. And he just looks at uh, his date. Any way to get him, uh, get her back down? You watch as she pulls out another device and clicks a button. And you watch as time almost seems to rewind for Iliad. Oh, what the heck? What is this? What is she? You can rewind she time? Oh, okay. If I could rewind time. Technically, yes. If I could find the way. Turn back time. It's, it's turn back time. It's this weird remote thing that allows me to I'm buy. aware. Cher <laughs> <laughs> uh, would be disappointed in you. Hi. <laughs> I'm aware. Yo, it was, what's it, it up? Was a, it was a bad words. <laughs> what up, Khan? How you doing? And she, you watch the sheet. Well, this remote does allow me to manipulate time in weird ways. I kind of just woke up with it one day. Up oh, seems like that's that, a she has a lot in common with us because we also just wake up with things. Yeah, I mean, I did wake up with. Oh, we did kind of uh, wake up with a lot of different things. I would demonstrate my power anyway. right now, but I don't want to cause property damage. <laughs> hey, yeah, I'm we'll, glad we'll at least later on a couple mission. of you noticed that this is her sacred gear. Yeah, Robin just says, well, "Look, we'll focus on that later," and. Uh, <laughs> As he's going back to the time traveling thing, is that what your sacred gear does? And Robin kind of shows off a little bit of what his can do with the radiance just kind of forming in his hand. I guess so. It lets me manipulate non major events, she says. I can't like turn back death or anything, but like rewinding a person out of the ceiling is no issue. Just like I can fast forward. Or if you went back down a wrong it. way in a dungeon. I could probably do that. Please, please don't. Please don't put don't, me don't. back into the ceiling. Window. Thank you. Don't worry, little one. I want as she pats your head. Look at you talking. Hmm. And you find that she's yeah. like two inches shorter than uh, Wisteria. 
<laughs> also, you should probably introduce yourself to the rest of the party, because I don't think they really know you. We've been through a lot recently. Hi, my name is Takara. Uh, I'm an inventor by trade, uh, and I create a bunch of different things. However, be careful, because when I create something brand new, it tends to uh, malfunction sometimes. Malfunction. Okay. You can't malfunction any more than this one's a uh, lightsaber, in air quotes, as he walks off. <laughs> lightsaber? What's that? She tilts her head. <laughs> uh, no, we don't, we don't, uh, we don't talk about that. For, uh, Robin well, just says, for now, just ignore him. For now? Can't hide it forever, George and Gills. <laughs> you what? So as you guys look closer, you notice that she has dog ears and a giant poofy dog tail. Oh, oh my Lord. god, her tail's so poofy. And <laughs> as uh, Robin notices the big tail, he then looks up at the ears. Oh, you're not a kitsune. Then what are you? A bitch. Oh. God damn! It's Robin just you. Gives, Robin George George gives walks Urban back a over death stare. And just bonks his head. No, I mean, no, 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 no. dog. Hey, you guys watch as she has the remote and presses a button. And you watch as all of a sudden Arabeth is frozen in time. Ignoring him. Yeah, good. This is much better. Oh, Jesus. I could live with this. I could live with this. <clears throat> yeah, I'm a peaceful. I like. Oh, I like what you did there, but unfreeze him in a few seconds. Wisteria, oh. while he's still frozen, Wisteria Illusion Magic's a dunce hat on top of him. Oh, don't worry. And then you watch as she pulls out a device, puts it in his hand, and just clicks the unpause <laughs> button on the remote. As you watch as his finger hits it, and then you watch as Erebus feathers shed off of his body and then go to his head, creating a feather afro. <laughs> <laughs> it's only temporary, but nice. it's kind of funny. Yeah, that's what it looks better this way. <laughs> and Red, you can talk now. You're yeah. right. I'm gonna just let it be. <laughs> anyway, Wait, this isn't the only time he's been stripped bald recently either. I know it's, it's becoming a theme. <laughs> anyway, as a. Uh... <laughs> As all of this is after all this happens, Robin kind of gives uh, Takara a little bit of a rundown of what happened yesterday or today, whichever day this is after the Easter Bunny attack. It's um, technically the day after, but it was all technically a dream. It's weird. You'll understand in a bit. Okay. He, he, just, says, says... he just says, anyway, um, after this, uh, after weird sequence we all had to deal with we actually found some really cool stuff if you want to see them and Jar Trick found Robin, nothing as he hides his things Jar Trick, you found actually something really good and probably no, he... later Jar Trick has nothing pull out your ancient map first time Jar for Trick. JJ to roll dice Jar Trick didn't even leave it on himself he left it somewhere else Robin just kind of rolls his eyes and says, "Well, anyway, uh, Bolt, oh, Bolt Brain here got uh, got an ancient map. Well, I got the stone flute. You watch as, and I weirdly know a song from it. Hold on, damn Before it, come that, on, guys. I gotta go for, I gotta go real quick. You're good. You're not needed for this part. You watch as you try to hide the map, and she immediately is like, "Ooh, map. I hid my stuff. I hid my stuff. I left the map in the room. I said that. Well, you said that after I started rolling." And by your stuff, I took you in the map that you... No. It's a map, it's a map. He was just jokingly hiding, like, his one, like, cloak. He doesn't have much things. I'm gonna say, you don't have much to hide. It's not really possible. He just hides his staff behind his back. Basic staff, SMH. Can I see it for a second? I suppose. Uh, we wouldn't happen to have an explosion-proof room here somewhere, would we? Uh, I think we Ellie, where's really your boyfriend? Installed. He doesn't tell me where he's going. And you watch as he's just 
He's a I'm free up man. here, he says. <laughs> He's just hanging for the uh -oh. upside down. I heard okay. all the ruckus and just couldn't refuse coming to see what this was all about. <laughs> he just flipped off the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Good to see you this morning. Looking as beautiful as ever. <laughs> See, not the Iliad. Thanks. Sorry about that. So what happened? Uh, Takara took dark stuff and is... I don't know what she's doing. And uh, Sorrow... It's now in to hands. Roosting on the ceiling. Oh. You want to see just abuse As she power. takes this, can I start performing the flute again to try and get Enhance? try and see if I can do that song? Enhance what way? Arcane focus. So uh, while holding the item, ah. you get a plus one bonus to spell attack rolls. In addition, uh, you ignore half cover. Interesting. It counts with shillelagh, which counts as a spell attack roll, which is interesting. Yep. Shillelagh is weird. So. Yeah. And yes, you can play that same tune again. You does not even require even a semblance of a roll. Anyway. Okay. Robin just uh, tries to play the song again to see what Takara thinks as she's holding the map. Quite nice. She doesn't have the map yet. He's not holding my map. My map was left in my my room. Yeah. She, she was studying. found it. I thought she found no, it. No, she took my staff. She took his staff, yeah. Oh, your staff. Jarktrick talks to Iliad's boyfriend about getting a cart to go out. Oh, a cart? Mm-hmm. Uh, do you have a preference as to what's driving it? Nah. Something flying? It's a long way. Flying, flying. Shit. I kind of need the flying horses to myself. Fuck. You want to see darts? Oh, Sadly, I can't. I have business across the water, so to speak. Um, let me see. Do you know? You do you know we're getting more flying horses. Well, you watch as he starts sailing through a book. Ah, yes, this should be fun. As he underlines it. Okay, go out back. Ask the farmer for the uh, or ask our farmer for uh, secret A plus. Okay, so repeat it one more time. Ask the farmer. Yes. Gertrude goes upstairs and get, gets his map and comes out to go talk to the farmer. So you... Someone get Frail Fair. She's probably still stuffing her face. Frail you fair! guys haven't ate breakfast yet. Breakfast yeah, has not been served. Breakfast. No, I went down. Oh, yes, well, she I left. went to the kitchen. Oh. To the dining room to try to get breakfast. Yeah, as she tries, she, she finds yeah. it's locked. <laughs> Let's just pick up something to go. Mm -hmm. Well, as you all we go out... Places to go. Things to do. You see a farmer tending to the flying horses as he's getting them set up. goes over and speaks the code word. Ah, oh, shit. Now I gotta deal with that. Motherfucker, god damn it. You just hear him say <laughs> Chartrick looks concerned. Um, what what would this thing happen to be, by the way? Don't worry. Jarchik looks we'll back. See. You no, watch as... we have our motherfucker here as he points at Arabith. You watch as he pulls a lever on the wall and you guys see the ground under the and the farm itself start splitting in half. Moving away from Chartrick each other. Raises his eyebrow. I'm not sure I wanna know what's down there. I don't Mysteria think we want to know. Roll me a dex. Roll me a dex. Is this from, the... from, the... dex is save, this from yes. like the X Men where the basketball court just opens up? We get a jet. It's not a jet. It's okay. some kind of animal. Uh, fuck. And my dice are. Did you mean again. dex save or dex or straight dex check? It's she said save. save. He said save. Am I rolling too? Sorry. No, it's no, only her because she decided to try and beat Nissa it. leaned in. Yeah. If she falls, I, I'm casting Feather Fall. It has nothing to do with okay, her Okay, I got a 15. We're fine. Okay. You narrowly avoid your head being taken off. As you guys oh, see a serpentine creature with ten wings shoot up out of the ground. 
Jartrick just looks at it. Whoa. This he couldn't is... just give us a normal ride, like a griffin or something. No, nope, that's the only other flying creature we got. Why don't you bitching and get on? I'm the one that has to pilot it, so shove off! Like I said, what you Are you get the on one flight? who has to pilot it, though? I'm the highest animal handling, JJ. Are you the one who has to pilot it, though? We no. ain't doing this. I don't understand. I'm afraid. This is a dragon. Amanda, hello? Hi. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, is, any, oh, is no one else picking up on this? I'm like, waiting to see. <laughs> it's a dragon. Yeah, hello? I told Amanda she'd get to use it this time. Sweet. And so how do I use it? Uh, I just talk to the... Yeah, you were able to talk. Here, this tells you real fair. Now's your chance. Is it so I just start. So I just start talk to it. Yeah. Ask for a ride. Okay. I require twelve fish. It speaks to you. We offer you one bird. Deal. And you watch. <laughs> twelve fish. Twelve fish. It is. Yeah. Happily. Watch this farmer. What's yeah. it want? I need to go break into the kitchen. It what? wants fish. Ah. Uh, that pond well, over there should have well some. Fish. Here's some uh, fishing poles. He hands the tea. Yeah. Grabbing, uh, grabbing the, the pole, Robin just says, Ugh, side quest. You and guys on only have pond. two. So, Robin and Jar Jar. Jar okay. Yeah. Sure. So, I need Not both me. of you to I roll me stick. straight D20s. And add. Do you want us to roll multiple at straight? once or just roll one? Add straight D. Or roll straight D20s. Would that be survival? No. Probably more. That's okay, I no. imagine survival. I, I'm doing something a bit different. Roll okay. straight D20s and then add your dex and your wisdom modifier to it. Why don't we just do roll it? A... A dex check and then add our wisdom. That works too. Yeah, I was gonna say what? Yeah. I was like, that, that might be a little bit similar. JJ today. Uh, so and then so wisdom, sixteen. Sixteen as well. So you both manage after about an hour or so to get all the fish you need. And I separated it up because dex to actually reel the fish in, and then what type of fish was this? Because I would get them as wild chips. They're all, oh, uh, true. they're all, uh, catfish. I can't fucking think catfish? Of it. Gotcha. I'll look it up. But yes, you do get it. I don't know if it has a sheet or not. If not, then just take, nice like, a little ones. level fish. They're big enough for the dragon to eat. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. It, he said 12 fish. He never said how big. No, there's no catfish one, but I'll just write it in my other I was about thing. to say, there's, is there like a car? I know there's some small fish because I had it with a... Uh, don't worry, talk. I know fish exist. I just don't know which fish it was. Maybe check Noritaka's sheet and just grab that one. It'll be fine. Yeah, I'll have to check Noritaka's I'm not going to be too is... picky about it. Um, but yeah. Anyway... Are we sure we didn't just make it up for him? Because I'm not getting any fish. Looking different names. I could up. have swore I had one type of fish. In I might have just given you something, and there might not actually be many fish. Hold on, everyone, give me a moment. No, no moment. Okay, we are discussing the specifics of fish. Yes, we are. Your point, Nissa. Who likes to uh, eat who got catfished, and what episode can I see this? Says Space Ghost. Oh my God. <laughs> Probably Arabic, to be honest. No. Oh, it's a knucklehead see, we're talking trout. About fish. Knucklehead trout. You see, we're discussing fish because of our secret actual like visitor today is going to be Veloc. Obviously. Somehow, they're just going to cross the time barrier. In the uh, not bag. quite. It's a joke. Anyway. anyway, knucklehead trout. So, you guys feed them to the dragon. Okay, hop on, and hold on tight. I don't go slow. I have to hold on to Frill Fair. Because <laughs> <laughs> I have bad luck. 
And you want to Jar Jar can throw for a problem with the base bodies to hold on to with, with how they can work. Yeah. You watch as Takara hops Robin, on. Robin, uh, as they take off, gestures to, uh, to Takara to hold on to him. Okay. That works. Okay. Ooh. And then just speaks to him at a three, two, one, as you all take off <laughs> at very, very fast brace. speeds. I do need... Everyone brace. Anyone who's actually hold on, on to the dragon itself to roll a strength roll. And anyone oh who's God. holding on to someone else, roll an athletics roll with advantage. That's athletics. So I roll straight 20. strength. Oh boy. Athletic. I got a nat 20, so. A uh, four. Athletics. Robin, no. Arabeth can fly. He's fine. And I have feather I fall, so we'll a be 12. okay. Am I going to be the only one who stays on this? I got a 12. Uh, I don't think so. Maybe Ilya should have been sitting in front. What did Wisteria get, Duck? 18. 18. So Wisteria and Jartrick are the only ones who stay on. The rest of you go flying backwards off the dragon at its speed. So it's me, Takara... Iliad, Frofer. You watch as Takara uh, just Erebus. clicks her remote and rewinds you all back on. <laughs> oh, other than that, I, I, had, it all I right. had a spell slot for Featherfall. Mm. We would have been fine. Oh, okay. can we scale us? Can, can we do it no, again? No, I need to stay on the dragon. Now, I can need everyone who failed, so not Jartrick or Wisteria, to re roll their shit. I want to do it oh, again. No. I want to do it again. I want to do it again. Five. God Calling it. again. Eleven. God damn it. Falling again. Falling again. They're all falling again. Rolled in the corner. <laughs> she oh, rewinds one more. Corner. Go ahead. Re again. again. Let's go again. Let's go again. Let's go again. <laughs> oh, good. Nineteen. She's fine. Eight. It was almost a nat twenty. Fourteen. <laughs> Eleven. I Iliad, I put you in front of me. <laughs> no, Iliad made it. She's good. Let's go again. Let's go again. Okay. Let's go again. Ironic how he's named after a bird, but he can't fly. Mm -hmm. So Erebeth can fly. Robin, fly. instead of bird, you holding Robin. on and Takara holding on to you, as you fly backwards, she grabs onto the dragon and pulls you onto it, oh, keeping you connected pretty much. Again, I had feather fall, but okay. We but everyone succeeded but you, Aiden. The dragon. And everyone succeeded but you. So it was just easier for me to do it this way because she got a nat 20 on her athletics. Fair enough. Fair enough. So you all again, again, break again. off toward this desert area. No. Oh, no. Again! As you guys land no. and all you guys see is sand. Huh. I don't like this. Garthrick takes out his mouth. Irritating it, it gets everywhere. You yeah. find that you're like right up, like right at where the steps of this temple should be. Jartrick turns towards uh, Amanda. Can you ask the dragon to uh, use its wings to try to unbury some of the temple? Uh, we'd want to be behind the dragon then. And We're still I'll on it. The dragon if it. We're still oh, on yeah. it. Yeah, you're still on it. Sorry, I thought we got down. No. Uh, do you mind trying to unbury some of the Blue temple wind. with your wings? I can try, but I doubt I can blow wind down a tunnel deck. Or at least you know the entryway. So he tries, yeah. but you notice he does not get anywhere close to deep enough. Mm, Jartrick jumps down. I wonder. Spread out. So. There might be a switch or something. <laughs> Alright, let's go look for a switch. Everyone okay. roll investigation. Does no one have the investigation? Can no one use their magic to move the earth? Does I don't think any of us it? have that ability. No. Daisy, you I... planned for a spell none of us have. I didn't plan for There was never supposed to be a spell. Robin Robin getting off the, uh, the dragon before he starts looking around tries to use his flute one last time. There you go. Happens. 
and you guys I had a feeling watched. it had to be stones, just, stone temple, as, stone flu. It had to connect otherwise. Yeah. And you guys watch as this temple raises up out of the ground under y'all's feet. I'm like, I, I didn't count for a spell. <laughs> and as yeah, it raises up, uh, first to go down. you guys see two statues at the front of this temple. Their eyes immediately glow, glow red as it's finished rising up. Everyone, roll initiative. Uh, bitches. Bitches. Oh, no. Here we go. I got uh, a before, before this happens, I just cast <gasps> Gift of uh, Alacrity. Alac I got, I got a nice. nice. Hold on, hold on. I finally have a good initiative roll. So, Ilya got a 15. Yes. Wisteria, what did you get? Uh, Dice Lag. Okay, you let me know. Erebus got 18. I got 22. Yeah, yours is the only one Can that I actually. Can I just physical dice at this point? If you want to, I will allow it. Did mine okay. not go through? Yours, yours did. Went through. Let's see it. Yeah, yours oh, is good. It's on. just Wisteria. Okay. Sorry. I'm trying to try to find my dice. Don't be sorry about Amanda. Eleven. Damn. This is last. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I found my dice. I'm gonna. Yes, roll we one. we we got it. It came through. <laughs> okay, good. But I'm also going to roll one d8 because I have a spell called Gift of Alacrity. I alacrity. Don't know. Alacrity, yeah. Gift sure. of alacrity, yeah. Uh, to add something to my initiative, if the dice will roll, that's an eight. Sweet. And you said you max rolled it. Okay, max. I thought it was a. Never mind. Yeah, so she's got a nineteen now. Nineteen. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So, only one of you actually outspeed these things. Not me? Never. You were the highest. Was that me? Never a good sign. I guess so. Unless, uh... The thing is, for once, I... Because we don't see hers. For the very few times, I actually roll low. Usually, I'm first. Oh, I do have to well, roll. Yeah, because you have a plus nine to yours. Here's yeah. the thing. They have a plus two, so they manage to get 20s. <laughs> Y'all are one point Damn. slower. And Takara is at a 15. Please remind me whenever oh, okay. turn... Uh, I know Illy goes first, so... Before Jar Jar. Okay. Robin, you're up first. Alrighty. Uh, hold on. For some reason, the thing's not showing up. Give me a second. There is no battle map. Okay. This is oh, just is a one? straight one-on-one oh, -on -one really fight. I, I made it this way to make oh, it easier, okay. so there's no flying and shit, because otherwise it's gonna make the fight take forever. Alrighty. Um, well, I guess in that case, since I don't know where I am, where am I in terms of the constructs? You're just like, it, it's one-on-one -on -one combat. You just choose your spell and go. There's no like... Ah. Okay. Well, let's see what I can do then. Obviously, poison's not really going to do much. Um, hmm. You know what? Let's try a new spell I got. I'm going to do Chaos Bolt at the, uh, at the construct chaos. that I see. Chaos. Okay. And the Why damage are you will Nissa's be putting energy into a bolt. We'll make it true lightning damage. I don't okay. think it matters aside from obviously not using poison, but let's just go for lightning just for shits and giggles. Okay. Now let's see if it hits. Ooh, a natural 19. That does That's hit. 27. Does that hit? That does hit. Nice. All right. So this will be lightning damage even if it doesn't show it. Which gargoyle? On... One or two? Oh, uh gargoyle one. Gargoyle one. Okay. And 12 damage? So that's 12 damage. Not bad. Nice. Not bad at all. Yeah. I do have to roll the d4 now, though. Mm. Ooh, that's not a good start. Oh, ah, shit. What I get. 39. Okay, so Takara's going to see the detriment to me. Oh, I regain 2d10 hit points. Okay, so nothing happens. You can actually do that, that points, and though. give no, that you... Oh, let's say, you can actually give that to yourself as 10 hit points. I'm going to allow that. Alrighty then, so I gotta roll 2d10 then. So, 1, 2. Let's see what I get. Ooh, 14. I got 14 temporary hit points now. We love to nice. see it. I'll take that. And there's 70 you, the so I need to roll same. a d8. Okay, I need to roll again. Wait, roll a d8? Why? 
Because I was determining of which of you to attack first with the dice. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Anyway, anything you're doing uh, is a bonus action. Can I see the rest of my party to give one of them inspiration? Yeah, you can see everyone. It's a wide open field. Yeah. You're, yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. So, Wisteria, you're up next, right? Uh, um, tied with Trophier. No, so the order oh, okay. is... Uh, hold on. What's your perception, Nessa? My perception or, is perception. a plus five. Fucking uh, <laughs> initiative. Fuck. My initiative is 19. The plus two, it is plus two. Uh, I would say, what's your modifier? So, plus two. Modifier is two. Uh, Arabeth, what's your modifier to dex? The dex, uh -huh. plus three. Okay, and Frill Fear. Plus two. Okay, so well, this is actually that. third out of those, according to the site. Okay. It randomized which of them would go first, so yeah. Okay. Then okay, who's the next one in initiative? That's all Arabith. I need to know. Arabith is next. Arabith. In that case, I give him, uh, as long as I can see him, inspiration for yep. whatever he does next. You can. Exit. Now, and I need to like, check a sheet. I imagine moving doesn't really matter, Are we right? Are not running a map? Nope. No, we're, we're not. not. Okay. Damn. I, was like, I, Wait, I imagine Frilfear movement is isn't really an option, before right? Before Arabith, I'm confused. No, Frilfear only... No. Frilfer got a 19, Arabeth got an 18. Arabeth yeah, got a 19. Say, huh? Nani? No, he Arabeth didn't. Got an... How did he Arabeth get a 19? What? Um, yeah, yeah, Arabeth got right. an 18. Uh, was, was, was Terry why. and I got a 19. Okay, so Frilfer's next. Modifiers okay, are I misread. So I misread his. Okay, then. Uh, no, the wait, site wait, randomly determines it, Nissa. It already randomly oh, determined okay. it. I accidentally uh, wrote Arabeth's in as 19 because I read his 18 as a 19. That's my bad. Great job. Good going. So yeah, Frilfer. All right, but yeah, I'll give it to yeah, I'll give it to Frilfer then because I was trying to get the first one and the next one initiative. Okay. And, and I assume movement doesn't really matter in this case. Nope. Might as well just forego. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's the end of my turn. So up next are the two gargoyles. Cleverly. And the person the first one's gonna attack is already determined by the dice gods. Who wants to take a guess as to who it is? Probably me, because it's been me every time this has happened. So, Aiden thinks it's him? I mean, it's fair to assume. It's literally every, happened every time you whoever to gets who gets hit. this right, every person that gets this right gets an extra D8 added to their next damage, so. Mm, okay. Mm. Me. Be red. So, uh, one for Nissa. Moon. Aiden thinks it's himself. Be red thinks it's Nissa. Galen. Aiden thinks Be red. So, Galen, who do you think it is? You're the last person. Galen. Uh, Robin's girlfriend. Is it, let me think. The only person. my e. The only person who got it right is um, they chose themselves. Iliad is the me. one getting attacked. Oh, <laughs> oh no. The only reason well, I guess that was damage. The only reason that I guessed that is because Aiden and I. And I understand that it's by dice roll, but Aiden and I have literally been the targets the most. Literally, I rolled a three. It's not my fault. I went for myself because I fucking knew. I literally I rolled knew a three. It's not my fault. Uh, what's your AC, Moon? Uh, fifteen. Yeah, because also for context, hits. everyone watching, when he's like determining it, he rolls a d six. Uh, d eight this time, and like yeah. goes or d eight, I guess in this case. And it goes by our order in our uh, group. So, like, on D&D Beyond, if you uh, were in our group, you would see that Robin's placement is number five on the list. And then Iliad's, in this case, is number three. Five and three have been my most common numbers. <laughs> I know, yeah. You hit five Which, twice. Speaking I forget of five, for what, but you hit them twice. Speaking of five on the damage, I had to roll a D6, and it's plus two, and I rolled a five plus two. <laughs> oh, my God. Seven points of damage, man, for the first attack. Brother. You said five. Uh, that's and actually not bad for second, once. You know. The second attack is not I know, but it's just uh, funny how many times he's rolled wait, five. Hot. Freeze. Everyone wait. stop talking. JJ, what did you say? You take seven points of damage. Am I with him? Thank you. Okay. Am I with him five feet? Uh, I could say you could be, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can I use seven points out the attack. damage. You can. Well, there's a second attack coming. 
Or well, I missed the second. I already missed the second attack. It was only the first one. Oh. oh. The second one. Missed. Usually, the way it's deemed is you have to say it before the actual damage mm-hmm. comes out. I sentinel attacks okay. a bit different. I can allow that. I can't allow the other one. The interception. Yeah. So I can attack. Yes. And while you do that, I'm going to see who Gargoyle number two is attacking. It's going to be Aiden. I'm re rolling. I'm not attacking Moon twice. I'm going to go get a drink. <laughs> okay. It's, I'm guessing 22 is a hit. Yes, yeah, 22 hits. Bless you. 10? Nice. So 10 damage. Five this session. Um. Okay. So, so like the slasher specialties are for my actual turn, so not reaction, right? Uh, I don't think so. No, I'm not a hundred percent on the intricacies of slasher. So, not like movements involved. If that's what it does, like I, I don't know what it does. So read it off. Then. It says once per turn when you hit a creature with an attack that deals slashing damage. You can reduce the speed of the target by 10 feet. Well, that's not oh, needed. Until the start of your next turn. So it is on my turn. Well, even then it wouldn't matter because movement's not a factor here. So. Right. Right. Uh, so with that, it's <laughs> on the second gargoyle. And i not attacking Mooney again, so I re-rolled the dice. Because it landed hey, on the three again. Hey, don't oh forget my about God, my... Of yeah. Don't forget about my advantage you gave me. Don't nobody let me forget about my advantage you gave me. Okay, thanks. Okay. So it was an advantage. It was no, a I DA. get like a, I get a D eight. I know, but I couldn't remember yes. what he gave me, so I called it an advantage. Yeah, you get one oh, D eight extra damage. So the second one is attacking Arabit. Yay. I'm honestly surprised it wasn't me again. Miss. That's wait, what's your AC, B Rad? Eighteen. Double misses. Sweet. Real fair. The... Yay! Damn, I was hoping he hit me. Okay, so I'll attack the one that went after Iliad. Okay. Roll a hit. And can I use? I want to initiate the fire rune as well. Okay. Nineteen. Nineteen just misses. Oh, uh, that is unfortunate. I mean, oh, you can use matter. inspiration if you want to. That's true. Might also, well. do you have, what is that? have two attacks? I do have it's two attacks. Six. <laughs> if the next one misses, I'll do it. Okay. Oh. Is that that considered a crit? Uh, No. It shouldn't be unless Uh, Slasher allows you to, but I don't think it does. I don't remember if Slasher does or not. It would just be considered a dirty 20. Double check. It is only a natural 20. I can never remember. Yeah, it is only a nat 20. Yeah, yeah, I know there are some things that I'll allow it on a night uh-huh. Unless you're like a hex blade or something. Uh, I think it's a uh, champion not. fighter. A... I think champion fighter is the one for sense. crit fishing builds. Yeah, oh. say, cer- certain either subclass features or sometimes even feats uh, allow you to get a crit on a 19 or a 20, but you slash is not one of them. Congratulations. Okay. Yeah, you do hit, which so. is good. Uh, and then... That one, the damage. <laughs> At least he's getting that one on damage and not to hit. And then a strength Ooh, saving Maxwell throw of 14. Fire rune. Yeah. We have to get 14 strength? from that. Strength saving uh, throw. The strength no. saving throw of 14. Oh. Never mind, I'm stupid. I thought you meant 14 yeah. damage. Nat Natural 14 uh, damage. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't make it. Damn. That's unfortunate. All right. It's his turn, though. Uh, one of these days, it'll work. <laughs> <laughs> It'll work. One of these days, it. it's not like the other. Okay, <laughs> duck. All right. 
so the one that attacked Iliad, I assume that's Gargoyle 1. Mm -hmm. um, make a Charisma saving throw of 17. I am using Foxfire. Charisma of 17. Yes. Fail. Huh. Okay, that is 3d8 and 2d4. You should kill it. You should kill this one. Should. Yeah, I think 27 will kill it. I really think <laughs> Wait, he's about get... to say off by one. Hold on. Was what was your damage, Nissa? Uh, twenty-seven. Yeah, you watch as it goes back to its statue uh, podium. There we go. There we nice. go. Close off. And there's no really point in. <laughs> Anything else, Doc? I think the duck died, guys. That's my turn. Sweet. There yeah, you go. Aaron didn't come through. For a moment. Beard, right, go. Your turn. <laughs> right. So one of them's down. Yep. One down, down, one to go. Or is that yeah, what? Yes. One, one down, down, one, one to full go. health. Because we we right. hard targeted right. one. Right. Yep. See, that told you guys this fight wouldn't be difficult. I'm waiting for you say that about place. every fight, though, JJ. Okay. So we have a right to be concerned. It's okay, you guys haven't fought the sandworm yet. That'll be later in the campaign. I what? fucking knew it. Bitch I ass motherfucker. That's later in the campaign, not yeah, even you're gonna fucking... be in this session. You guys are fine. Okay. That's... That's what he says. Yeah. No, the sandworm C R eighteen. I'm not having you guys fight that right now. Yeah, perhaps not. I'm not that big of a dick. I mean, we have a dragon with us. No. The dragon no, would not help don't. you in that fight. <laughs> give J give JJ an inch. Actually, no. Give JJ a centimeter, and he will take 10 million miles. Don't. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, Amanda, if you're wanting to fight it, I can have you 1v1 Stop. it. Stop. No. Stop. Oh, oh. No. I just for up here. That's no. All right. First time I'm going to gonna do is cast hex at first level against it okay and then i'm going to bonk it with my warhammer roll the hit 12 miss rip yeah. you guys he, watch he as he like... just slams it into the sand in front of the gargoyle and it tilts his head jared trick just looks at him oh, the fuck, fuck are you doing <laughs> Damn, now I wish I did give you inspiration. Takara said, did his arm Rip. malfunction? No, his brain malfunctioned. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, Nissa, His brain always malfunctions. Oh, yes, I drew, I drew those already. I got the Hermit, Justice, and Six of Cups reversed. Uh, well, <laughs> most of those make sense. They always do somehow. This is fucking great. I mean, you guys are traveling to a whole other world, so... You know. Great. <laughs> anyway. Do you have anything else you can do, B Red? Nope. Sweet. Uh Iliad, you're up next. Is it my turn? It is your turn. Is it my turn? I wouldn't waste Sorry, your, your beast this time. I'm not gonna shut the I'm windows. Not gonna my beast. I'm just going to shoot it. <laughs> I was like, okay. we've done Sorry. too much damage to these things already. Just going to point and shoot. Uh twenty one. That does hit. Uh, six damage. Okay, that halved. And now roll your d8. Oh, this will do six damage. Hi, Candle. No, it does one. Hi, Candle. <laughs> it does seven damage. <laughs> Hi, Candle. It Hi, actually Candle. only did four damage. Oh, resistance. Yep. Because it's a construct. Yep. Makes sense. But, if I, but am I, um, are my allies nearby? You do get sneak attack. Yes. Sweet. Sweet. I can deal an extra 3d6. Sweet. Nice. To be fair, sneak attack is where all happen. the rogue's uh, power comes Have from. Have you been chewing on this? 3d6, right? Yeah. <laughs> Basically, yep. the cards what? say they're what? traveling to another what? world. I rolled a 12, so that's what I happened. see you. Nope, 12 is full. 
that's no, no, not the, a type the sneak of damage. attack doesn't get halved. It's just yeah. additional damage. Just like the it's D8, one of those special it didn't get damage halved. types. Just like the D8, mm -hmm. it didn't get halved. Anything else? Well, that was 12. Uh, no, I'm done. Dartrick. Or actually, no. Takara. No. Uh, this one's you. Uh, let's, see. let's see how she does. Sweet, she's gonna go ahead and uh, this does what I think it does, right? Sweet, so she's gonna go ahead and uh, green flame blade. Okay. So let's roll the hit. That definitely hits. That's nine plus max damage on that. That's 17. Plus, as a bonus action, she'll do her wild rage damage. Wild rage. For another three. That's 20 points of damage. Is it Except for What class was she? No. She's an artificer. That was a, yeah, she was an artificer. Uh, with that, now it's Star Trek's turn. Darcy's gonna walk up and use uh, <laughs> natural disaster. Don't do that. Why? Property damage. I would say don't. You you might destroy the temple. I would probably not do that. It's already almost dead. Well, I can't die. Yeah, probably best to save your power for another big fight. Dude, it only takes ten minutes to recharge. One minute, actually. One ten minute. Rounds. Punch it in the face. I was like, it is saving my power for the next fight by not using my. <laughs> Don't you have? Isn't Shillelagh a cantrip? I'm about yeah, to say you could do that. Use cantrips. This it's thing's a bonus all... action. I'm about to say this thing will die next, or by the time it gets to Aiden, I promise. So. Okay, and it has no. I don't. I don't hit. So you do not hit. I'm at... Damn. Use a regular attack, I guess. That's okay. Also, Candle, the other person is uh, Takara got matched with Robin through the dating service woman. Yep. Yep. She's a character that was introduced a few sessions ago, but like, or at least was told to show up, but she hasn't actually been introduced until now. Right. Go ahead and use Earth it's her enough. debut session. On it. Make it deck safe, JJ. Fail. It fails? Yep. Cast it at third level, so that's three d10s. I'll be honest, he could have done two d10 and probably killed it. <laughs> It'll be fine. 19. That does kill. We got this. Nice. Now you watch as it returns, and then you see the doors to the temple open up. Jartrick investigates the statues to see if they drop loot. Nope. No loot was dropped, but I do hey. need all of you to roll investigation rolls of this entire temple as you're going through it. Okay, okay. so investigation? investigation. Yep. I'm fine. I'm using enhance ability for that. Doesn't matter, Aiden. That sucks, nine. Oh, really? Uh, 18 plus 8. How does a 26 fare? <laughs> Damn, guys. So, Whoops. I, I, I should have specified thing. this Hold is on. mainly going off your uh, natural rolls. Okay. Bruh. This well. is just to see if you find anything else. All right. You uh, might as well just have us roll straight d20s at that point. Well, you're, it's <laughs> if still, it wasn't going to add. Aiden, you're still going to have the possibility of finding other shit. Wow. Be rad. <laughs> Kara actually fucking did it. So, Nissa was actually off by one of the natural rolls she needed. Brother. Because if you guys got a 19 or 20, you were getting a one of the many special items. That I had planned. Well, fuck. Got it. Man, investigation is like my weakest thing. Well, it goes off Same your here. nat. It goes off your nat, Galen. It doesn't... Then why are you... Okay. Because... Why aren't we just rolling straight d Because you fuckers apparently don't listen and the fact that it will... Det give, or you will find other things, but it the nats are what's determining the item. If you can okay. get the item. Okay, interesting. Basically, it's something I threw in there to give some a bit more spice to investigation rolls. Twice. Doesn't really. Six. 
Makes sense. Yeah. yeah it don't make no sense. It don't Keep make in no mind, sense. this is basically a bunch of broken bullshit that you guys can get. Which, Six. three of okay. you already got. Because you got it in the Easter fight. Fair. Aside, yeah. just got screwed over again. That's what happened. Mm -hmm. Dude, so... the map's gonna be useful. If you don't no, want it, Robin will the map's it. already done, Aiden. The map leads us here, and that's it. You don't know Allegedly. that. Yes, I do! <laughs> okay, buddy. It's literally the map to the stone temple. Maybe it updates once we get inside so we can see the floor plan. <laughs> Pretty kind of cool. Alright, so who gets what then in this case? Well, the rest of you are yeah. looking through the murals and everything. As Takara, as she's investigating, finds a little secret, almost hole in the wall. Like, she pulls out a brick and there's a hole there. And as she reaches in, you watch. Let's see what she pulls out from the D20. That's a fifth. No, actually, that's on the side. I'm going to reroll it. Okay. So, 16. You watch as she pulls out some type of vase. Okay. Vase. That's just... Hmm. What is this? Well, it's something, but what is it for? I don't know. I just found it in a wall. It must be important for them to hide it. And on the sides of the vase... Uh, is there, like, guys... a language we can see? There's no language on it, but you guys do see elements or things on the side resembling the four major elements of earth, air, fire, water. Oh my fucking god! I see up top. I touched. I touched. I touched the water one. And you watch as the vase magically fills with water. The avatar. Oh. Um. So whichever hmm. one of these we touch, the lamp will fill with it. And you see uh, Robin touch the air symbol on the vase. And you watch as a mini tornado forms inside the vase. It's so pretty. Okay, well this is neat, but it has to be used for something else. And Robin tries to look around the rest of the area. You guys look Wait. around and you just are we, see... Are we outside with this or inside? You're We're inside. inside. We're, inside. We're inside now. We're inside, oh. I, so, I push the water element again and then sort of like tilt it a little bit and see if it like Takara is holding this, not you. Continuously fills. You're not holding it. She lets her use it though. Well, and I meant like yeah, like I tilt it down like with just my finger and to see if it fills as it's emptying. You guys watch is she tilts it down and you guys watch as Frofer just get soaked as water blasts forth from the jar. Oh. Tell them I got like, Tell them I got okay. Are you okay? You take do four points again. of damage as the water blasts you in the face, and now you're all wet. Mm hmm. I don't want to know what the fire one does. You know, that's either lava or. You know some when sort of cats food. fall in the water and are very upset? That's how I look right <laughs> yeah. now. The just looks back at you. You know, I would have seen that coming if I were you. That was. I did as well. She I mean, just... I wanted to see if it magically filled. I didn't know it was going to attack me. Yeah, let's keep this upright for now. Don't want to deal with any extra problems. Yeah, there is a neutral yeah, symbol to say to... that it's not filled with anything. <laughs> yeah, like... Robin presses that immediately. So... And then <laughs> the car puts it in her back. This should be interesting. It... Let's go look again. As you guys are Anyone looking friend? around, though, you notice that on the floor there's some type of spell circle. And you guys mm. can roll Arcana if you want to see what it does. Arcana. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, That's what I'm going to do as well. Uh, doing it too. 14. 14. 18. 14. 15. 18, plus 15. 8 is... 23. 15 yeah, plus 8 is 23. Mine's going to be bad. Birad, Birad, don't roll your Arcana. You have a it can't be one of us advantage bit. instead. Don't roll your Arcana, Birad. You have negative two. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I would like to thank Nissa. So oh. Nissa, as you're investigating the spell circle, and this is only because she rolled the highest that she triggers this. 
Yeah, because you're touching sense. it and tracing it and figuring out what it does. You learn it. You learn that it's some type of teleport circle. But as you're tracing it, you see a bit of dust on one of the lines, and as you scrape it off to finish trying to figure out where this is from, it lights up, and all of you are magically teleported away. Charger just oh. looks at Wisteria. What have I told you about touching random crap? <laughs> I did not know it was going to do this, to be fair, but where the... F God damn it, where the fuck are we? Oh, where are we? Can we, we roll perception, go look around? I'm gonna just tell you, uh, you guys, as you're going through what... This weird-looking, almost portal to you, end up in a land where you look up at the trees, and they're... The leaves are colors of pinks and purples. Even the grass is shades of it. And you notice the tree trunks, instead of being brown, are this dark, almost black purple. And you look up at the sky and you see it is no longer the blue sky that you remember, but is a deep, sh a hot pink. Oh, is this where the bunnies from? The clouds, the clouds were a different color there. So you're no longer allowed to touch things. <laughs> no. Dragon. And the dragon's not with you now. Care. Please keep that in mind. Yeah, the okay, best stayed outside. Well, um, he would have most likely left back after a bit anyway, so. Mm hmm. So what are you guys doing now that you are here in the Feywilds? Oh, great. Oh my god, you... I know this wasn't intentional, yeah, but both you and Galen have two similar uh, areas now. <laughs> anyway, um... Trust me, Robin you'd much rather be to... in the Feywilds than the Dreamscape. I know. Anyway, uh, Robin just tries to become aware of his surroundings for a second just trying to understand what All the hell's going on here all you see is trees you guys basically got dropped in the middle of the forest all you pretty much see is trees in every so, direction so if we look down there's not a there's not a like another like landing platform nope not the slightest welcome Stuck to here. well we're not going back the way we came <laughs> welcome Which to is why she's no longer to have to touch things just church <laughs> No, I can still touch things. I don't care about your allowing or whatever. It doesn't make any sense. Anyway, let's try to find someone who can get us potentially out of here and make a note of this point in case some sort of exit opens. Are you guys trying to exit the forest? Trying to We're going to see if we can find a way something. out. Or at least someone to to help us for tips on how to like, do anything here. Jar Trick is checking for druid symbols. It's something I'm able to do. You see nothing. Mm. Mm. Trying to see what I can do. <clears throat> can I roll perception to see if I find anything like suspicious or uh, otherworldly here? The whole thing's otherworldly to you. That wild. does. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> How about for something that's not just Can all I trees roll? then? I mean, you see Can weird looking animals and stuff, but nothing that. Jarchik looks over and tries to f find the animals. I was going to say, yeah, Robin calls over Jarchik. Hey, Tin Man, try and speak with these animals. <laughs> Up in a tree. Them. You see a weird squirrel like creature. Jarchik looks up and attempts to talk to it. Uh, you got speak with animals, I take it? Yeah, so we, we canonically gave it to me before. That's what I, I thought. Remember. That's what I thought. Okay. I, I just had to double check. So, you start speaking, but you notice that the squirrel doesn't, or the squirrel-like creature, at least looking creature, doesn't speak animals. No, at least not that you could understand. Jark Trick attempts to tame it with animal handling. It does not work. 
Wisteria tries to say a few words of Sylvan because she knows that language. You watch as the squirrel speaks back to you perfectly in Sylvan. In that case, Robin talks to him as well since he knows Sylvan. Hi, how you doing? My name is Jim. What can I do for you today? Oh, I Jim. know Syl Sylvan as well. Jim. So, Jim. <laughs> as we're talking to Jim the squirrel, we uh, Robin just says, Oh, hey, hey there. Jim, so, this oh, fox hi. over here accidentally got us stuck in this part of the, in this part of the woods. Any in any info on how we can get out of here? Ah, uh, well, like I don't know. I haven't really been to anywhere near the edges of the forest. Uh, I do know north is where. Uh, what's her name? Ah, uh, shit. Uh, Madame Suzune, I think was her name. Maybe I'm not a hundred percent. She lives up there. Okay. Uh, Where to Mount Suzune, then? North. Which way is north? Which way is north? Sure. Uh, say, that way? Or which way is north? That way. Uh, I don't remember. <sighs> Dirk can trust kind of you survival to find north. <laughs> Thank you. Roll survival. <laughs> I was going to do that, but I was like, nah, I'm going to see if he actually gives us a proper answer. I got a 14. Anyone else going to roll it? I will. Um, we might as well all try it. I will as well. Yeah. 10. 10. Almost a natural 20 again. Eight. I got an 8. Oh, that's a natural 20. Okay. Nice. I was going to say, if no one gets it, I'm going to need to roll uh, fucking nice. advanced ability and possibly burn this. So you watch as Listeria give... just magically somehow points in a direction she thinks is north. It just so happened to be I correct. This is north. That way. <laughs> okay. Also, Galen, well, regardless of who I give adva advantage to, it would still be a spell slot of advance of enhance ability. So I still have no, to roll and potentially have a fireball sent on me. The help okay. action would just have given us advantage. You I would say the help action would ability. help with this, though. Because you're trying well, to find yeah, something that you guys don't imagine. readily know. Yeah. Okay. Well, I asked the squirrel, what is this Madame Susan I like? I don't know. A weird mix of like a hag and a tarantula. She's really weird. Pretty nice, though. Ah, so up, George. George says perfect. spider. <laughs> yeah. Spider lady? Yeah. She only really likes one spider lady. He doesn't really care. I heard he just likes she meeting has a few kids. People. One went missing about 10 ish years ago, though. Nani? What was the name? Hmm. I don't know. It's not like I talk to her regularly. I just heard it through the grapevine. Or through the fate vine, he says as he pulls on one of the vines hanging from the tree. Interesting. Um, hmm. And this Madame Suzune can get us home, correct? I don't magical know. capabilities? I have no hmm. idea. I just There's know only of her one from way others. to find out. I guess we gotta go find them for this person. Okay. Um, question though. What other things are around here? Any potential useful things? Not that I know of. Hmm. Do you know anything? Also, Candle, it's J E M. Not I am. J, J E M. Jim. Huh. Yeah. Jim, Jim. not Jim. Yeah, I heard Jim, too. No, it is. You said Jim. Yeah. It's the spell J-E-M for yeah. some reason. Uh, it's actually a throwback to a, a uh, someone I used to play Minecraft, or I, someone I played Minecraft with, so. Oh. Cool. Uh... Alright, sweet. Cool. Well, we appreciate your assistance. I suppose we should head north. Howdy ho! Mm -hmm. Yes, he runs uh, off through the trees. Yes, thank, thank you for all the help. Sure. Now, speaking okay, of that, that Moon, <laughs> write this down yeah. in your notes. You will be getting the Fey Squirrel as one of your things you can call. It's oh going to be God. actually different. Remember. Let me, type it in, let me type this in chat because I don't have Yeah, make sure to do now. that. Fey Squirrel equals... Nissa, you have your notes up, right? Yes. New. Okay. Moon me. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Perfect. Anyway, so we start heading candle. towards the direction where Syria pointed. 
Let's go so, on an adventure. Uh, someone roll me a straight d20. Any one of you. I got it. I got it. I got it. Got my shield right. right now. I was going to say, I'll go back. Yeah, please let me. I'm not, I'm not good with it. straight things. I got we it. know, Anissa. We know. <laughs> Neither am I. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, I learned something new about myself today. You guys heard oh it here first. God. Mooney's at minimum <laughs> buy. A fucking two. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, uh... We're queer and we would like to go home, please. As you guys start trying to head in this direction, you find that you're traveling north for ages. It actually takes you what in this world feels like three months to travel north. The entire time, the entire time, Ilya's just shouting, we're going on an adventure. But like with each, what feels like passing day, it gets less excited so that by the yeah, end of it, gets a lot it, less like, cheery. Yeah. 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 Just like, turn salient. We're going Ilyish. on an adventure. Sweetie. We're going on an adventure. Next time we're we going... leave, we're taking food. We're going Wisteria just adventure. sadly illusions herself some food. I, I need you guys to roll me survival. The plankton in hologram meatloaf. <laughs> I got a 22. Plankton in hologram meatloaf. I have a 13. Are we rolling survival? Okay. Drug Trick does survival. eat, but he needs far less than anyone else. So. 14. Fair enough. Uh, that is a 17. So between Erebeth... <laughs> Kara and Jartrick, y'all are able to survive off berries and random fey water that you find going through this forest. Did we? What'd you say? Jartrick says, if only we had Barnabas, he'd be able to find us food. Hmm. Oh, Barnabas. Rip. And then, as you guys say the name, you guys just hear squee, 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 squee. What? Jartrick looks around. Squee. Squee, 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 squee. Squee, squee. Squee, 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 squee. It is like a bromance moment. <laughs> <laughs> and then you realize you, it was you, just an illusion as the rest of you don't hear anything. Mm, Jartrick, what are you... Of what are you on about? So oh, weird. <laughs> So we're he watching was trying to find Barnabas. And you've always thought he was just talking to himself when he was talking to Barnabas. So. <laughs> Not me. Well, Robin I understands now. Saying. Well, yeah, Robin understands now that you're trying to talk to him, though. And I have some genuine mm -hmm. concerns for my friends. Where is the little mm -hmm. guy? Mm hmm. Jarotrick snaps at him and just continues walking. Hopefully. Jarotrick says, Bird. Fly into the air, see if he can see anything. All right, well, damn. about this time is when you guys arrive at this giant house, and you see that it's floating on this lake. But you mm -hmm. notice that there's no land underneath it. It's just floating there. Interesting. As you do <laughs> see says... webs hanging from the trees around. Jartrick transforms into a robotic spider and walks up. Okay, you walk up to the house. What are you doing? No, I'm walking up the webs. Up oh. to the actual house. No, the webs don't lead to the house. They're just hanging off the trees. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to use my webs to, to hang a rope pretty much up to it. Okay. So you guys... Um, adventure across the Herb house. just flies over. And as you guys, the get issue in, is Jarchik would have just flown, but he hasn't unlocked yeah. flying yet. So That's yeah, cool. Wisteria goes into her spirit form and flies up, then detransforms. <laughs> you and watch. You guys watch those rovers just slowly crawling across the spider web from charge <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah. What this the hell is, are the other, are the other four supposed to do bullshit. here? Um, I left the web really for you hard. to crawl up. Yeah, you your arms really hard. I mean, are we are, should we like roll for something like that? Because webs aren't really that. Nah, uh, it's strong. It's, it's just from a giant movement. metallic spider, movement. dude. That's why you guys are. To be fair, it sounds like you transformed into a tiny spider. Okay, no, no. it's a giant, giant spider. robotic spider. Giant enemy spider. And you watch Takara's like. 
That's interesting. What is Star Trek says? The fact that you shot a web out your ass? I'm a well, druid. What do you expect? The animal, so... <laughs> he just raises his eyebrows. You watch as <laughs> the, the, the web is actually made of some sort of weird, like, metallic alloy that you just don't know how he creates. And you watch as, like, <laughs> yeah. I think I'll just be thrown across as Takara takes a little cube out of her bag, throws it up in the air, and then you guys see just a giant metal golem appear and just carry her across the water. What the hell? And then it goes back to a cube once she's finished crossing. Well, at least it's compact. This is interesting. Hm. So we all get over and I not have the door. Gadgets. But also, it, Jar Trick doesn't have bodily functions the same way at all, so it doesn't right. really matter. It don't matter. So you knock on the door and you guys hear a I have visitors. Mm. Is it, Hello? Watches. As she answers. Oh, she looks like my future wife. That makes sense. Well, of course she, she does. She's an a spider. So as she answers the door, you guys can see a very hairy tarantula bottom half. And then the top yeah. half you can see has this like almost <laughs> wicked witch of the west <laughs> look with a couple of uh, boils Oh and my stuff. god. I don't like this. I, was, I can, I can, I can just see. I, I've seen this so much. What's I can the spider see it right now? Is the spider's name again from our world? Alumaria. Alumaria. Yeah, like, it was a very weird name. That's no, was also Alumaria someone I got name. from Minecraft. Fun fact: all the spider people's names I've gotten are from Minecraft. So, <laughs> of course. Lovely. Jurchik looks up. Are you by any chance related to Alamaria? I don't know. I have hundreds of thousands of grandkids. I don't know. Mm. He explains how, how she looks and how she's in the other world. I don't know. Well, excuse shrugs. our friend here. <laughs> Robin just says, excuse our friend here for simping. Um, <laughs> We're trying to figure out, uh, we got summoned here because of her, as Robin points over to Wisteria. <laughs> Accidentally touching a circle, uh, an arcana circle that got us here. Um, we were I'm wondering sorry, if you had a way to get to us out. I like things clean. I'm sorry. We were wondering Actually. if you had a way to get us out. <laughs> uh, getting out of the Feywilds is not easy. Um, Canonically, that's actually how she turned her trick on. She dusted him off with his hair tail. <laughs> accidentally oh activated <laughs> Oh my god. You can see it happening, though. It's yeah, like probably. I can. <laughs> well, I guess you need to go to the far north portal. However, it's under control of some unsavory people. Might not be that easy yeah. just to walk up and leave. Well, I understand. Well, let me get some we don't really have a about choice, these individuals. Okay, four people talk. I need one Whoa. person to talk at a time, please. Thanks. Do you have more information about these individuals? Eh, I'll provide that in a minute. Okay. Okay. Roll through. Are there no other transportation circles? Yeah, to the far south. It would take too long to walk back there. Yeah. And who else was talking? I think it was a Robin. Yeah. And Robin just says, like I imagined, we don't have a choice, do we? Probably not. Unless you want to go south, that is. We've already walked uh, a long while, so I think it's best we just keep moving Gertrick forward. says, God damn it, Jim t could have told us to go south instead. But he didn't. Oh, my ex-husband. Hmm. Your ex-husband ex looks up. Hold on. He said you were just some old lady he didn't know. <laughs> he kind of locked me out of his mind. Maybe you're erasing magic, you know? Oh. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Darshik just thinks, is Alamaria a part squirrel? This needs to be investigated. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Next thing you guys know, when you see Alamaria next, she just has a squirrel, has squirrel ears a squirrel and a tail, tail out the back. <laughs> yeah. Nah, she just got the buck teeth. <laughs> uh, 
I actually canonically she has perfect teeth, but yeah, that's a, not different. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I wish you the best of luck. Uh, it's ran by some centaurs. Uh, they're not very friendly though, especially to outsiders. Jarchik remembers the moment when he bribed things as a rodent. We might be fine. I don't know. They slaughter anyone who comes through the portal that isn't a Fey origin. So, take that. Well, coming through the portal is different from going out of it. They Maybe. have no way of proving. Robin just says, "You're out of line, but you are technically right." I don't know. Jurchik is is making a point. You know, they don't want people going in. Yeah. Doesn't mean they don't want people going out. But, yeah. But she also said that the who aren't. Fey. They have since we're already here. They have no way of technically proving we're not Fey. Was three Sylvan speakers, right? Yeah. Jarcher can disguise himself. I can three of you well. are Fey. That's my point. Say, wait, I'm three Fey. Them, aren't three aren't I, Fey? The... I have Fey ancestry. I'm. A, I was about to say four of you. Jarcher can have look like Fey. just a robotic rat. Four of them are Fey. Um, the only we just one... need to hide. The two of them. Yeah, Arabith and Amanda, the two hardest ones to hide. <laughs> Jar Trick looks, would you happen to have a way we could I hide speak, our two I friends speak here? speak Sylvan, though. You speak Sylvan, but you're not Fae. There's a I don't? Uh, you watch as she goes over to a, like a wardrobe closet, like the standing wardrobe. She opens it up and starts throwing clothes out, just going over. I need everyone to roll me a straight d20. Real quick. Oh, okay. Oh no, okay, but Nissa... going, Robin just says, Oh, to have a bag of holding. Why don't you ask your girlfriend? She's an artificer, isn't oh, she? Eight, Judge your comments. 10, 14. Oh, we can't do that right now. Three. No. Judge is saying that above board. Nissa, what'd you roll? 19, actually. <laughs> actually Sweet. So as yeah, she's throwing all these out, you guys watch as her underwear just lands on Elliot's head as she's still going through this. Jar oh just God. says, well, luck of the draw. <laughs> luck of the draw. <laughs> Jesus, you are down bad you're for spiders. So, no, so he's not funny. saying ha being happy. He's saying, I'm glad that didn't happen to me. <laughs> he's not that. Ha 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 ha. Huh. He, he's making fun of Elliot's bad luck. Eh? At least they're clean. <laughs> it could have been worse. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, she finally comes correct. out. Just put these cloaks over them. It'll be Wait, fine. why does this... Mm. He hands it to them. Because Jartrick can hide as a robot. And you watch as the cloaks go over them and they magically become invisible. Oh. These could potentially be useful. Jartrick says, feel free to take off your armor. What if we this get a cat? Side, don't you think, Jartrick? No. Her armor makes noise. Invisibility only works if you're quiet. Invisibility only I'm works to hide your dude, visuals. But yes, it's true. Not He's making just actual good points. I don't know why mm -hmm. you put these. Well, good things. luck. He's it's about around, dude. six months to the north. Uh, okay. I will say, uh, there's a couple towns along the way. Some nice folks are there. Have fun. Okay. Uh, have, have fun. Courage to the Well, thank you very much. We will have fun. Uh, no problem. Do you also, have a here's map some of food. this place? No, I sadly don't. Hmm. But here's but it, it's food, but it's still not meat, which makes <laughs> no. This, this it makes is meat. you a serious head as well. You guys, oh, actually, oh, look never mind. As yeah. one of it is so like a seen giant fly pig <laughs> hybrid. Say and that again, JJ. One of the things she hands you is a roast fly pig hybrid. <laughs> <laughs> And, I can tell you right now. <laughs> and, and the second thing she hands you is a cow mixed oh with a sheep. Oh my god. Interesting. Okay. 
that. Have fun. It's really good. And you watch she already has a little leg of the pig fly and just takes a giant bite out of it. See ya now. She waves goodbye. Head out after eating. And then, well, I guess we gotta keep going. <laughs> and we're gonna end oh, session we there. That's such an early session. <laughs> Yeah, it that's, is, I was yeah, say, I was say, that's not... talking about early, damn. Yeah. So the reason it's early, though, is because mm -hmm. what's happening next time, JJ wants to save for a whole new episode. Okay. It's I mean, not a play. Like, yes, it, it, no, I mean, if this was, if this one was going to be short, you could have combined both Easter and this one, unless you didn't I have could, this session Okay, yet. Aiden, keep in mind, I didn't think it was going to be this short. <laughs> Because I kind of expected y'all to fail your investigation roll. The one time I count on y'all failing. on the stone temple. Yes, I thought it was going to take you guys longer to figure it out. Well, it wouldn't well, have mattered. I... Either way, we can spend some time just exploring the Feywilds for a bit. Yeah. I mean, you can. I mean, I'm not against Spoke it. Poke it out a bit. Dark Trick says he, he's going to take a moment and actually look around. Since I yeah. have information this time and aren't just wandering randomly. Yeah, I suppose okay. we should look around. You know what? Everyone roll perception. I'll, we'll do it this way. Everyone roll perception. Alright. Why are you only getting that 20? God damn. And 23. Oh, 21. Damn, 2 Ooh, nat 20. Hey. 2 nat 20s and 19. Bro, baby. 2 nat 19. Damn, yeah, y'all <laughs> rolled well. So you guys go around. Finally, dude. Yeah, Moon. Ha, we rolled well. I want you to do me a favor. Yeah, okay. Go into your sheet and add any CR1 fake creature, CR2 or below actually, fake creatures to your sheet that you want. You said any CA, CR2? Two or below. Two or below. It's a fake creature. Any three yeah, fake CR2 or below. Three. Three of them? Yeah. He said three. Oh, Holy nice. shit, okay. <laughs> Add an extra. And Amanda, do me a favor. Roll me a straight d20. Oh. Okay. She succeeded. Yeah, I just needed you to roll an 11 or higher, so. Okay, sweet. And you guys watch as Amanda so, her friends a gold dragon wormling. Interesting. Oh. A.K.A. the baby what form an of adorable a gold friend. dragon. You said wormling? Yes, I, I'm pretty sure that's like the small dragon. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what I'm pushing. Search CR uh, to. Uh, so it's a baby. Yes. It will it's grow bigger. It will grow bigger. Don't worry. Uh, and... You want to give it a name? I'm going to put hatchling because if I look at wormling, I'm not going to understand what that means. Fair. I guess, yeah. <laughs> so. Something else I need to check real quick. I need to move you there. Right now I'm just still rolling my dice repeatedly. And I know the cameras are going to be off. Uh, just give me a moment, guys. Yeah, cameras are going to be frozen for a sec, guys. Well, no, they're not going to be frozen. They're going to be like completely off because I'm in my... Never mind. Um, what are you doing? Jar Trick got... Jar Trick got a 13 With Syria. and got 14. Hmm. What? You find a weird bat kangaroo hybrid. Yo! Yes! <laughs> this is the start of y'all's, uh, you know, pets. Yes. I remember you talked about Amanda that. Gets this is the very exciting for this well specific for fusion. I, I like bats. Fair, I, I like kangaroos. This is amazing. Fair and enough. this uh, remind me to make a sheet for it later. But you notice, I was honestly expecting like a crow of some sort and for this to flip shit. Uh, you notice <laughs> as you're talking to it, it just gets a collar around its neck with the name Bam Bam. Oh. 
put on. Damn, that was amazing. <sighs> what the fuck is this? The fun? <laughs> I just oh, say, we all understood, understood the reference. <laughs> Alright, so what happens next? Oh. So, as you guys are looking around, you guys are slowly getting a feel for your footing, and you're learning that the different waters that you've drunk all have different properties. For an example, uh -oh. the light green ones tend to turn your tongue green. Interesting. The purple. So the war acts like dye. Interesting. Pretty much. But Siri just drinks the purple one as it is completely unaffected. <laughs> just are closed, right? Yeah. Just drinks the purple one. And then you guys notice that the light blue one transforms your hair slash feather colors to a very aqua blue. There are Wait. that one as well. Like, as in all our hair? Yes. So now Amanda's a smurf I'm lion. Cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Exactly. With a green Watch tongue your flying. and green clothes. No, <laughs> green Dr. tongue. Dr. has no hair. Purple clothes. So he's not affected by it. He's just looking at this. Y'all are weird. Yeah. And then you guys see the red one, but just based off the color, you're like, eh, let's not touch that. The red also, one did Robin get anything from like, the rest of them since he got a nat 20? Oh, did you nat 20? I forgot, my bad. Yeah, I was the other nat 20. Me and Amanda were. Uh, let me check something. Because me and Amanda got nat 20s, and then Wisteria and Ilya got... Okay, we'll make it 19. this way. Nice and easy. You yeah, yeah, find it's good, it's good. another flute. This one, made out of Feywood. A fine addition to my collection. Made out of what wood? Feywood. Okay. Just tree want to have a unique effect. Okay. It allows I'll just, you... I'll just add two flutes to my inventory and just say one stone and one's made yeah, of Feywood. Yeah, just wood. name them and I'll give you the effect of the Fey one. The gotcha. Fey one allows you to inflict the Frightened condition as a bonus action. If they fail a saving, a uh, constitution saving throw. Of your spell DC. I, 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 I think it's the other it's wisdom and charisma. Normally, I would say it is, but because it's from the music itself, I think I'm going to. Go. So, as a bonus action, I can inflict frightening condition as a bonus Fear, action. Fear, basically. Yeah, pretty much. Except this is using right, so inflict fear on a foe as a bonus action. Okay. Yeah. My creatures. Robin initially plays it, and Mysteria just shudders. <laughs> I, I want you guys to know that's going to be Robin's thing from now on. I'm just going to be giving him a bunch of flutes with different effects that he can use. I thought you were just going to be giving even him a that's, bunch of... It's funny, too, because that's not even his signature uh, instrument. It's the fucking loot. You're I one know. <laughs> I'm about to say, but that's what makes it funny. That's the like, whole reason drew... I did this. Because for everyone who's watching the actual stream right now, if you see as Robin character, Robin's character goes by, he's holding his loot in his hands. <laughs> but see, that's what's no funny. Robin's frame. supposed to be sitting here like, why is it always flutes? I'm supposed to be a loot, not a flute. God damn. <laughs> mm, I it's think like, the universe made a typo. I'm going to say it's like you, the, yeah, universe the universe just, heard is just you. fucking illiterate. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, that was the whole joke of that. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> okay, I added... I can't breathe right now. Hold on. I added a Darkling Elder, which is a C2. Which is a C mm -hmm. I added a Meanlock, which is also a C2. And I added Seder, a Seder. Okay. Which is a half. So. They are half. Sarah, one half, please. 
stuff. And with that, I think we do end here. Because there's not much else for y'all to really explore. All right. Uh, The thing that's happening in the next city is going to be basically an acid trip for everyone. And that's why I wanted to save it. So the entirety of the events of uh, Anna... Uh, I just reminded Aiden that that exists again. This is a win. God damn it. <laughs> I hope every one of y'all enjoyed. I told you combat today wouldn't be that bad. You say that every time, though. For you, once. You. Uh, so yeah, for once, it was actually pretty decent. It wasn't, like, really terrifying. Well, I even told you guys in the beginning, it was only a couple of CR2s. <laughs> Yes, but remember how high the other ones were. Not off the top of my head, no. Anyway, with that, let's find a raid target, guys. Alrighty. Yeah. The party has some bad Candle said, "Acid trip next episode is gonna be titled the party has some bad LSD." Oh my god! <laughs> That's funny, bro. Son of a bitch. If it is a drug, it really doesn't has a hard time affecting me. So it's well, I not. Think JJ Moore you're... meant it in the figurative sense. Yeah, you're basically going to be going into an hallucination Bay town. There's not gonna be any hallucinations, but you're gonna. It's gonna seem like you're on an acid trip. Is the point of it. It's going right, to be lovely. absolutely crazy. And that's okay. You're going to be tripping balls even if you don't have any. Yo, someone was playing... Yo, Way was playing Skylander. Damn, I haven't seen that Ooh. shit in a while. God, Skylanders, that's fucking flashbacks. Dude, me and <laughs> my, old. one of my brothers used to play that shit all the time, like, religiously. I know, one of my, my friend was obsessed with that game, dude. And it was my so only white. My only thing about Skylanders is the save data for each individual character is saved on the freaking characters. Yeah, it's on the minis. Yeah. So even if you restarted it, you'd start with overpowered characters. I'm like, that's not the point. See, I will say I just did once they got the swap force, I didn't care for it. But I like giants and I like the base one and stuff. It, it was nice. Yeah. Anyway, that is. Oh, I got this person we could raid. Who is that? You'll see it once you check the chat. Uh, I prefer not to. Okay. You got anybody then? Yeah, I have Christian. I have Lionheart and I have Beats. Sure. Ooh, Lionheart's doing Skyrim. That'd be cool to check out. Ooh, hell yeah! I think that works. Yeah. So let JJ switch accounts. Okay. Hey, guys. Have to make sure you actually raid with this account. Yeah. Hashtag D squared raid. Why are you typing it out, bro? I'm typing out right now. I said why. I was about to say. I forgot we had a raid command for that. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to be fair, man, it's been what, like two weeks since we've done anything in here? Fair. Go to Lionheart some uh, love. We'll see you all later. Bye-bye. Bye, honk. Bye.